Well, Jeff, here you go back in uh, Vegas, big T-Mobile arena, uh, big spot. I mean, is this still, you know, a big energy for you, get you nervous or anything, or is this just kind of business as usual for you at this point? Yeah, business as usual. Uh, I like fighting in uh, arenas. This uh, adds uh, the element of excitement. You know, this is uh, I, I, I didn't train 13 years out of my life to fight here in the Apex. You know, I, I want to fight in, uh, in arenas around the crowd. That's what I do. Yeah, fair enough. I know you were supposed to go in January, I guess. What can you share about kind of what pushed it back and what it took for you to be ready now? Um, just just an injury. I don't want to disclose it, but uh, something happened. Uh, had a, I could have fought, but it was wiser just to uh, push it back. And it's actually perfect, you know what I mean, being on the card with uh, John Jones, Valentina. It's, it's, uh, it, it worked out perfect for me. Was it hard for you to make that call to push it back? Are you kind of you know stubborn like that? Or? I, my, my coach made me do it. I, I, was going, I was going to fight, but he was like, no, nah, we're going to push it back. Fair enough. Even though you pushed it back, though, you said, "Hey, I'm willing to keep this matchup together." So I guess what was it about this fight that you said, "Hey, let's 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 go ahead and keep this one together." He he kept on chirping on Twitter, like playing me like I was like like I was scared of him or something. And I was like, I, "There's no fighter in the UFC that's scared of another fighter, and if, and if somebody is, they need to retire." But uh, he kept on doing it on Twitter, and I was like, "If this is what you want, let's go." Uh, last thing for me, as you said, a lot of people high on this guy. You know, 16 and 0, all finishes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Break it down. What do you see? I mean, is there anything, uh, like you said, nobody's scared, but is there anything about this guy that you have to be concerned about or are people blowing him up too much? Uh, I mean, uh, that's to be determined. We don't, I don't know how good he really is. You know what I mean? From what I watch, uh, he's, he's a good fighter. You know what I mean? But I've, I've beaten good fighters too. So uh, we're just going to see on Saturday, see what the hype's about. I want to see who, who this unstoppable shaft cat is. Jeff, over here. Uh, obviously, you, you mentioned Shafkat and John did too, like 16 wins, 16 finishes. What are his opponents or what is he doing so well that like even in, like a Neil Magny, who's a guy that's known for even just making it to the scorecards that he can just put him away on like, like most people? Uh, from what I've seen, he has a good uh, ground and pound. If he gets you on your back, he has a real good top control. But uh, in this fight, I don't see him putting me on my back. So it's going to be a different type of fight. We're going to have to, it's going to be a, He's going to have to grind it out. We're going to be on the feet. We're going to have like a lot of clinch up positions, and uh, he's going to have to work for it. And obviously, a lot of people think like he should be. He could be fighting for the title soon, mm. in like other people above you too. But you've beaten guys like Santiago and Bilal and and Luke and all these guys. Do you mm -hmm. think people are overlooking you when they're talking about like, oh, who should be fighting for the title soon? Yeah, for sure. Um, I've 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 been I'm what seven and two, and like all my finishes uh, or all my wins. I'm, I'm beating these dudes up, and it's like easy, no competition. And uh, I just feel like people just uh, look past me, and then some new guy comes in, has racks up some wins, some finishes, and uh, now he's the next biggest thing, you know. So uh, I'm, I'm ready to take that shine from him. Have they added you to the game yet? No. And at this point, don't add me to the game. It's kind of disrespectful. I've been fighting in this, in this promotion for, what, eight years? Or not eight years, since 2018. And they still haven't added me to the game. I don't want to be in it now. So would you tell them not, when the new game comes out, would you be like, just don't even, don't like even bother? It. I don't want it. Yeah. Hey, Jeff, right here. Um, you told me when we spoke in December, I think, about this fight, that you feel it can be an easy win for you, and a lot of people kind of reacted strongly to that. Are you still bringing that level of confidence into this? Hell yeah. That's for sure. Uh, I mean, he's a tough dude, but um, I've, I've, I've beat tough dudes before, and I can, I can make it look easy again. Who do you think wins between uh, Usman and Edwards coming up? Usman. Uh, unless uh, Leon comes and uh, changes his, uh, his game plan and doesn't get pressed against the cage the whole fight. We'll see. Is there one of those guys you'd rather fight for a title? Either one. It doesn't matter. Whoever has the belt, I'll fight him. Thank you. Jeff, over here. Have you had a chance to glance at the betting odds going into this fight? No. No? But do you feel like you're being disrespected a bit just with, you know, what you've accomplished? Uh, Jose just mentioned some of the wins you've had. Do you feel like the, the odds makers and the betting public needs to take a closer look at that? I mean, I really don't care. I don't bet. I fight. So uh, somebody's going to uh, get their parlay fucked up on Saturday. <laughs> How much confidence do you have? Coming off that win over Vicente, Vicente Luque, where you dominated the fight, you finished him. Um, how much are you still riding off that going into this fight? Um, I, f I forgot about it. It's a uh, it's new, new month, new year, new opponent. You know, I'm, that's in the past. I don't even think about it. Just one more thing on the past, though. Do you feel like people maybe don't look at the health issues that you had in some of those fights? You know, the Stephen Wonderboy Thompson fight, the prime example where, you know, you felt like maybe you weren't 100%. Um, do you feel like maybe that's why you're not getting the respect you're getting going into this fight? Yeah, I guess, I, I guess so. You know what I mean? And uh, that is an overlooked part. Like, you know what I mean? I've, I've literally almost died 
two months before I fought the best striker in the UFC. You know what I mean? So it's it's just wild that people forget about that and like the the shit I had to go through. You know what I mean? Congestive heart failure. You know what I mean? My kidneys shutting down and uh, shit. I still stepped up and fought two months after that. But uh, it is what it is. Are you still having any lingering health issues from that? Or are you 100% good now? I'm 100% good. Cool. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff, over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Where? Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. I see now. <laughs> What's up, bro? You you mentioned being excited on the same card as John Jones. Uh, let's talk about that main event fight. Who do you have winning that one? I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen John in a long time, and uh. I haven't seen him fight at heavyweight, you know what I mean? So this, uh, I can't get a good uh, judge on uh, who's going to win because I just haven't seen John fight at that level, like at that weight class. So uh, I'm excited to see though. Hey, Jeff, way in the back. Um, is there something you would say is just clicking in these last few performances because fans really feel like you've really just leveled up or is it just simply the health is doing better and you've been able to perform more to the level you always were? Yeah, I mean, uh, if you look at my first five fights in the UFC, uh, they were they're pretty good. They were solid, you know. Uh, had, what, five, uh, five fights, uh, four finishes, you know, and uh, then uh, had a, I fell off after that uh, health thing, and uh, now I'm, I'm feeling healthy. And I'm, uh, my focus is back, and uh, I'm ready to make another run at this shit. When you see a guy in Bilal Muhammad that you got a win over, and now he's obviously on a roll, is that one that you're like, hey, if this is going to happen, it might be with high stakes, belt, title shots, something like that, that you would revisit that one? I mean, I would. Uh, my, uh, him and my coach, they're really, uh, they're really cool. So uh, the only way I'm going to fight him again is if, uh, if it's a must fight. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not looking at him as a future opponent. And hopefully I don't have to fight him because I don't want to ruin like, any kind of like a friendship or whatever him and my coach have. But uh, he's not my friend, so I'll fight him any day. <laughs> I, I get that. Uh, just objectively, then, do you feel like he's going to be the guy who gets like a Colby Covington in his next fight in the division? Uh, who knows? It's, it's about what the fans want to see. Uh, if the fans want to see that, then it's going to happen. If not, then he's not getting it. Thank you. Jeff, down here. Where do you think a win over Shafkat's going to put you in potentially the title talks? I, I feel like it should put me right up there, you know, and especially if I get him out of there easy, like I plan on doing. Uh, uh, there's like uh, like how 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 are people gonna deny me uh, or they'll find a reason to deny me just like after I fought Luke now Luke sucks all of a sudden even though he's supposed to knock me out uh, we'll see I I don't I don't even know and do you think this stage will also be like the biggest test for him mentally as well this is the biggest stage he's been on a John Jones card I know he fought in Abu Dhabi but the eyes of the world are literally on this card yeah you talking about as far as you talking about Shafkat right yeah yeah I mean uh. He seems like he handles, handles uh, pressure really well. You know what I mean? He always has this like calm demeanor. So uh, I feel like it's just going to be another fight for him too. Hey, Jeff over here. Um, you, you know, you said earlier you hadn't paid attention to the betting odds. You're a pretty sizable underdog in this fight. I'm, I'm just kind of curious, like, how do you see yourself winning this one? I, I'd like to make some money myself. <laughs> uh, I, I see myself winning by uh, – I, I see it by finish. You know what I mean? First and second round uh, – I feel like I'm too strong, too powerful for him, too quick, and um, it's going to wear on him.